What's up guys, welcome to another Lava Locked In video. In this video, we'll look at two very exciting Lava Locked In features. One is Octane Concurrently and the second one is Octane Route. Octane Concurrently is documented in the documentation but Octane Route is not. So I'll demonstrate both with practical examples and we'll do benchmarking as well. By the end of this video, I'm sure you will be able to think of some use cases where you can apply this concept and make your application better. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first feature I want to talk about is Octane Concurrently. So what happens in a normal application is uh, the application code is is executed sequentially so one after the other so if you have multiple queries in on your in your method so first query will be executed then it will go to the next query and so on so i will show you one method where i'm using this for example we can go to this method okay okay now in this method i'm trying to get the category so once i get the category then i try to check the parent series and then i pass both of these variables into the view so what happens is this query is executed first once this is executed variable is set then this query is executed and then both of these variables are passed into the view and then view is compiled and the response is sent so what happens is we can with laravel octane we can actually run both of these queries concurrently thus saving time and improving the performance of the application so let's go ahead and ha uh, see how this actually looks like so i already created this route here so uh, so what you can do is you can run the octane concurrently method and you can pass multiple queries and then you will get all the data needed so, and you can assign these variables using array destructuring syntax here so the first clojure will be resolved and the variable will be uh, value will be set to categories and this will be resolved and the value will be set to current series so octane concurrently uses task workers and so i will show you so when you are starting your application you can actually pass task workers here maybe uh, eight so when you are running this option concurrently so i will execute actually start two separate task workers and then it executed and set the variable variable value and so both of these are executed in a concurrent manner and it can improve your application performance so for me i have i did a lot of benchmarking and i found in some use cases i found slight improvement but in some use cases actually the performance was degraded so i would highly recommend that before you implement this feature in your own application you do some benchmarking and if it improves your application only then use it and yeah uh, that's it for this feature so next we'll move to the next feature which is octane route actually octane route i couldn't find it in the documentation and but i saw the taylor Otwell talk for laravel octane for this loracon 2021 so i saw him demonstrating this uh this feature but i don't know why they did not add into the documentation i will also you know you can actually contribute to the level documentation i will also try to contribute it and i will try to edit the documentation but in any case let's go ahead and see what is octane route so let me close this guy so if you open this octane service provider you can see it is uh, using this uh, for octane sun octane class this guy is being used so we can go here and we can see this is using uh, four traits we, this is what interests us we can go to routing and it exposes three methods what one is route the other one has route for and the third one is invoked route so this is what we want to see so in this route you can see like it takes three parameters first one is method the second one is url or path for path for the url and the third one is callback so what happens is if you are using this method let's let's actually go ahead and try to use it so we can use octane route and we'll be using get method and say test octane get and we'll pass the client here and we can pass we can uh, return the response this will be a json response let's call it data and let's go on with your idea that first and let's go ahead and check this route in the browser okay so this works fine so what happens with this route is why this route is so special so whenever an octane detects there is an octane route so it skip all the middlewares and pass your request directly to this route so all the middleware overhead is gone i have actually found very good use case for my own applications i will also uh, first let me do let's do this benchmark and then we'll show you i will tell you the use cases where you can use it and improve your application performance by at least like 500 to 600 percent so let's do another laravel get method and we'll benchmark both so these are pretty much the same route now so this is octane route and let's change this to laravel route 
so now we have two routes uh, one is laravel and one is octane and let's go ahead and check both routes in the browser and then we'll do the benchmarking and and then i'll show you that um, why this route is so fast okay so first one is this the second one is tesla market let's go ahead and do the benchmarking now okay i'll be using worker and you can use any benchmarking tool that you want to use so with octane get you can see like you get around 1524 requests per second and let's check this with uh, now laravel get with laravel get route you can see like it only provide 153 requests per second and with octane uh, it's around at least around 700 to 800 percent improvement uh, so you can see like octane get is so much faster so why it is so much faster i will show you by using the debug backtrace helper so we can do this debug backtrace for both of these and see like how many hops it actually does before getting to this point so let's go ahead and refresh it again so for laravel get actually you can see it uh, actually goes to 45 hops and then it reaches to this point and you can actually if you want to see this hop where from where this request is going from which file to which file you can see it and you can see it in, in your own time and for the level opt-in get and let's refresh it and you can see like it only goes to around nine routes only and then it passes back the parameter actually the dd is not working because um, and this dd is not loaded by anyway but you can understand like there are only nine routes and it does work so that's why it's so much faster so why there are nine routes so taylor said in his talk that uh, if you're using level octane octane route method so it skips all the middleware and your application directly goes to the rest of the route that's why it is so much faster and the use case that i have found for my own application is so for every mobile application start it actually hits this uh, check update route in my main application so i am i have transferred this i have moved this route to octane and we are getting a very good performance because we have more than 50,000 clients for our application so every application at startup checks for the update if there is if there is a version update or not and with laravel octane we can actually uh, improve the performance by at least 600 percent uh, so yeah so you can find the use case where you can implement this route and you can improve your application performance and that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye cheers see you next video.